Without ending poverty, we cannot build prosperity. Without building prosperity, we cannot tackle environmental challenges. And without environmental sustainability, we cannot end poverty. Opening day of the Economic and Social Council's 2013 high-level segment delivered a clear and unified message to the world, pushing for science, technology, innovation and culture to help drive the achievement of the UN Millennium Development Goals by 2015 and help design a comprehensive post-2015 development framework. Everyone can contribute to bringing about uh, solutions that uh, are connected to sustainable development and uh, everything that can bring about uh, the well-being of the planet and of its citizens. We must uh, bring about a, um, an environment which uh, favors these sectors. We must use uh, culture creatively in order to improve people's lives. ECOSOC is an important guarantor of consistency and effectiveness uh, of the entire UN system. But this is a function which can only be uh, carried out if we have dialogue and a close cooperation between the different players in the system. The UN system is becoming ever more varied and is developing when it comes uh, to topics dealt with and when it comes uh, to institutional matters. In my view, the post-2015 agenda will only become a reality if the world agrees on mechanisms to scrutinize the enactment of the SDGs that must be global in nature and universally applicable to all countries. Eradicating poverty is essential if sustainable development is to take root across the globe, underscored experts, noting how STIs and culture can help strengthen the impact of the three pillars of sustainable development, economic, social and environmental, with a human-centered approach at its core. We need more and better education in science, technology and engineering and greater support to career opportunities. Sub-Saharan Africa alone needs over 2.5 million new engineers and technicians to reach the Millennium Development Goal of improved access to clean water and sanitation. The key to success, I believe, is to bring all the world's people online so that everyone can benefit from the wealth of applications and services enabled by the Internet and other interconnected technologies. Scientific research is a driving force of knowledge, driving force of technology, and a driving force of innovation. This is a virtuous circle which needs to remain strong and unbroken. And scientific research, and here often fundamental research, can result in disruptive innovation, thereby thereby changing society. The world also heard the voice of the youth and their essential role in the process of sustainable development. We need to establish safe, enabling and inspiring environments where young men and women can freely develop solutions that solve tangible problems in their communities. The SG launched the Global Innovation Index, noting findings that show, quote, the face of innovation in the 21st century is changing, said Mr. Ban, advising the world that innovation must be locally adapted. Our world is moving to a more open and collaborative model of innovation, thanks in large part to new technologies. Science, technology, innovation, and culture have been a pivotal in the achievement towards the Millennium Development Goals. Before making his way through the innovation fair where innovative projects and products are being implemented for sustainable development. While well, Reach is, an, is a strategic program in Qualcomm that brings wireless to underserved communities worldwide. So we partner with universities, with uh, NGOs, with developers, with private companies, and together we bring solutions in different areas. We think that by looking at universal health coverage, which really has as a goal for everyone to access health care, can really help tackle uh, you know, the achievement of the MDGs, but then also the post-2015 framework, where we really think there needs to be a focus on finishing the job and putting an end to all preventable child deaths. 
Among day-long events, best practices and country challenges were produced during the national voluntary presentations delivered by Nigeria, Peru and Vietnam. ECOSOC's annual ministerial review made evident the increasing and relevant role of ECOSOC in the post-2015 development agenda process, honing in on how sustainable development can be enhanced through increased global partnerships that help promote social cohesion, boost economic growth, and spawn environmental protection. We know that there are these uh, very clear gaps in attaining MDGs. We've, we've made great progress uh, on MDGs, but there are these identifiable gaps. And um, there's definitely potential both for the STIs and for culture to help us bridge those gaps between now and 2015. If we want to keep this planet, uh, and if we want to nourish the people of the planet, we need ingenuity, we need innovation, and we need partnership. And ECOSOC, which is the, the open door to the external world in the United Nations. The four-day high-level segment will see the adoption of a ministerial declaration highlighting the potential and critical use of science, technology, innovation, and the potential of culture to help permeate sustainable development for all. I'm Afaf Khanja reporting for South South News at the Palais des Nations in Geneva.